And you've probably heard the term innovative a lot in the handgun industry, but I have a firearm here that defines that term. We're going to go over right now the Sig Sauer P320. First, let's talk about the safety. The 320 incorporates a striker safety that will not allow the striker to go forward unless the trigger is pulled. Secondly, there's a disconnector safety that will ensure that the pistol will not fire when it's out of battery. Lastly, there's a three-point takedown safety that ensures three things have to happen before the gun can be taken apart. First, the source of ammunition or the magazine must be removed from the pistol. Secondly, the slide must be locked to the rear. And then once the takedown lever has been rotated down, what doesn't have to happen is the trigger. It does not have to be pulled to take the slide apart. At this point, once the takedown lever is down and the gun is completely empty, the slide simply comes right off. At that point, the gun can be taken apart fully and cleaned and serviced and put back together. And at no time is it possible to do this with a loaded firearm. Let's move on to what makes this gun truly innovative, different than anything else on the market. That's modularity. This pistol is built around a stainless steel trigger group that can be configured in multiple different sizes and multiple different calibers. The trigger group is simply removed by taking out the takedown lever and it comes right out of the grip module, just like so. Now this is a serialized part. Once you buy this gun, this is what you purchased and put on the 4473. This is a registered part. If you want to change that size, you don't have to go out and buy another firearm. You can decide what you're going to carry. Let's say it was set up in a 9mm compact. Let's say I want to carry a subcompact 40. I can buy a subcompact 40 cal exchange kit, insert my trigger group like so, put the takedown lever back in, and grab my 40 cal subcompact slide and install it on the pistol. So I just went from a compact 9mm pistol to a subcompact 40 cal in a matter of seconds. So that really is the definition of modularity. But it doesn't stop there. These grip modules are also configurable in multiple different sizes. You can get these in small, medium, and large, depending on what your need is. Also, the calibers can be changed between 9mm, 357, and 40 cal. So how does the P320 shoot? Well, I can tell you from my experience that in the striker-fired market, this gun has the best out-of-the-box trigger of them all. It's clean, it breaks perfectly, and it feels so good to shoot. Also, the grip angle is intuitive. When I put this gun in my hand, when I extend the gun out in front of me, it naturally points to the target. It has a natural grip angle and it feels great. The controls are super easy to get to. It has an ambidextrous slide catch lever that sits right where it's supposed to. The mag release button is easy to push. It has front and rear serrations, so you can rack the slide from the back of the front, however you see fit. And the sights, there's lots of options for the sights. You can do contrast, or if you see yourself shooting in low light conditions, you can also get the SIG light sights. This gun is perfectly set up for your shooting needs, whether it's on the range, concealed carry or otherwise. And if you carry concealed or ever consider carrying concealed in the future, you're going to be excited about it too. What is this new product you ask? Well, it's a pistol we developed that you can carry all day, every day, 365 days a year. It's called the P365. So we here at Sig Sauer understand that when you carry a concealed pistol, it's a balancing act. Do you go big with a lot of ammo and give up your concealability? Or do you go really, really small and gain concealability and lose some of that capacity? What if you could have both? That's where this gun comes in. So I know what you're thinking. How do we get ultra concealability in a high capacity package? Well, let's take a quick look here. We've got a 3.1 inch 9 millimeter barrel and it's rated for plus P ammunition. We've got a nitron stainless steel slide. The grip module is fully textured polymer grip module and it's striker fired, which is great. This has got the cleanest, crisp trigger you'll ever feel in a striker-fired gun. It actually is amazing to shoot. More importantly are the sights. It comes right out of the box with Sig Light night sights right out of the box. You got it. You don't have to go out and buy extra sights if you want to carry in low light. It comes ready for you. We also have a proprietary rail on this pistol that our optics team is working on a light and or laser option for, so you could install that on the pistol and have the ultimate carry package. So. This is where the magic is right here. We've got a one inch wide gun, which is industry standard on this size pistol. But instead of a single stack six or seven round mag, we were able to stuff a double stack 10 round magazine in this gun. That's right. This little pistol has 11 round capacity, 11 rounds. Seriously. Not only that, it comes with two 10 round magazines, a extended version like what's on the gun, or you can put in your flush fit magazine for ultra concealability. All this in one box, ready for you to carry all day, every day.
So let's summarize. You've got more concealability, more capacity, and more capability and more features all in one gun. The P365, bring more every day. This is the M17 surplus and we're going to go over exactly what it is and the features it has right now. First let's cover exactly what's in the box. You'll see it's a standard cardboard box just like what was issued to the US military and the gun is in its original configuration. That means it has all Coyote tan controls. The slide catch lever, the manual safety, the back slide cap, the sear housing, takedown lever, trigger, it's all finished in the original Coyote tan. Now, as the contract matured, we were able to switch to black controls and a different colored slide. The Army, in this case, wanted to get all the new guns with the new controls and everything, so they just sent us back these and we issued them new guns. It was a lot easier to do that than it was to refinish all the parts and refinish the slides with the right colors and configuration. So this is an example of a real returned pistol that was issued and deployed by the U.S. military. Now, what does that mean as the purchaser of this pistol? Well, first off, is this pistol was tested and configured to go with the military spec ammunition, which happened to be very high pressure, or what commercially we would call plus P ammo. So if you're gonna shoot plus P ammo out of this pistol, you'll have no problems. However, if you wanna shoot standard ammo, let's say non plus P standard nine millimeter ammo, you will, want to probably put in this. We're gonna include one of these in the box. It's an additional guide rod assembly with an orange painted spring so you can designate this is going to be your standard velocity nine millimeter guide rod assembly. It's super easy to exchange out. You just take the old one out, put the new one in. It's all covered in your owner's manual, which is an authentic M17 owner's manual as well. But it doesn't stop there. You're also gonna get one 17 round magazine, of course, with a Coyote tan base pad and it's gonna come standard with two additional 21 round extended magazines in the box as well. So what you get is all Coyote controls, all the mag configurations, and additionally, you get all of the unique markings on the slide and the unique serial number. This is a contracted serial number, and you get your government part numbers on the slide. It's all marked exactly the way it was when it was issued to the US military a couple years ago. And another thing is this gun was issued and deployed. So it's being sold as a used firearm and depending on how much use your pistol received in duty is what kind of condition it's gonna come in. So it could be very, very new like this one or it could be something like this model here. This gun has seen some action. It's got a lot of wear on it. It actually has an inventory number still on the grip. So the long and short of it is no matter what condition the gun is in, these guns have been tested to military specifications and they run like tops, regardless of whether they're in really pretty condition or not. So to wrap it all up, you get a previously issued authentic military pistol with all the magazines, the packaging, an extra spring in case you wanna shoot your standard velocity ammo out of it. And moreover, you get a chance to own a piece of history. We are super excited to uh, talk about this P210, but I think what's important, especially from a SIG history standpoint, is where did this gun come from? Starting with the M49, Swiss made, then the 210 Legend, our 210 standard gets a lot of its characteristics and attributes from the 210 Legend made in Germany. Some key things that made this so incredibly accurate and just such an awesome gun was the trigger, which we maintained, the feel of the gun, the ergonomics behind it, the lockup, the reverse rails. Now with 210 Legend being one of the most accurate handguns in the world, it had reverse rails, but it was a carbon steel uh, frame and slide. It had a different lockup on the barrel, similar to a 1911 with three lugs, and the ejection port was a little bit narrow. On the back, we had the blade sights. No contrast, just fixed black sights. Now the P210 standard, taking a lot of the attributes and characteristics from the Legend, we've improved it. Made here in the United States. The first thing I like to tell you is this, this is a precision machined uh, firearm now. It's all stainless steel. So instead of the carbon steel from the legend, this is stainless steel, both slide and frame. We maintain the reverse rails. We improve the lockup and the ejection port. So now it's more of a traditional uh, SIG lockup. We maintain that accuracy that the legend was so famous for. Maintain those custom walnut grips. So we have the same feel, nice improved beaver tail, 
Couple things that we did change, we squared off the trigger guard and added checkering not only to the front strap, but also to the front of the trigger guard. We maintained that legendary P210 Legend trigger. When you press this trigger, it's like breaking that glass rod. What you haven't seen yet is that we have taken the controls from the Super Target and added it to the P210 standard. So now you have easy to manipulate controls on that slide catch lever and also on that manual thumb safety, easy on and easy off safety, nice place for our thumb to rest so we can get a nice solid grip on the gun and easily manipulate that safety and hold it down. Lastly, just like I talked about, we maintain that legendary trigger that it's like breaking that glass rod. So as you press that trigger, very easy. Folks, this is the most accurate handgun in the world and we're happy to show you the P210 standard. What I've got right here is the P226RX. So what makes the RX special? Well, that's this thing on top, which we're going to talk about here in just a second. But the bottom half, you've got the venerable 226, the gun carried by elite military units, federal agents, and police officers throughout the world. So the 226 is a double action slash single action pistol, meaning your first shot's a double action, about a 10 pound pull. After the slide cycles, the hammer cocks back, and you're looking at 4.4 pounds of a nice crisp trigger pull. 226, very shootable gun. You have your aluminum anodized black frame and you have a solid stainless steel slide on the top with front cocking serrations. Those front cocking serrations are real nice for doing status checks, press checks, making sure you got a round in the chamber. So that's a nice feature that it has. And it's got your one piece E2 style grips. You really get a deep purchase on the gun. It just feels like you're kind of holding on an old baseball glove. Chambered in 9mm, comes with a couple 15 round magazines. What really makes this gun special though is the RX part, the Romeo 1 Op Optic made by our Electro Optics Department of SIG on top. So this is a red dot sight, and this is really revolutionary. This is really changing the way we think about shooting pistols. Uh, instead of just iron sights on the gun, which it has, and we'll talk about those again, it actually has a red dot mounted on top. So boy, I'll talk, talk about fast target acquisition and uh, just really precise shooting eyes open, you know, target focus, not necessarily sight focus. So these are really making a difference in standard pistols out there. What's really cool about the Romeo 1 optic that's on this gun, it's equipped with MOTAC. Basically what that means is it's motion activated. So you don't have to worry about turning it on or turning off. It's pretty much always on. If you're moving, the gun's moving, the sight's on. So it's a really cool feature. So no on off switch to do with. You do have some intensity adjustments on the left hand side. So you can turn up the brightness of the dot or turn it down depending on your lighting conditions out there, which is a real nice feature. One thing I really like about it, real easy to change the batteries on it. Right on top, battery compartment, pop that off, pop on a new one. Not that you really need to change batteries in this thing very often, but it is there if you need to. Comes zeroed out of the box, so pretty much zeroed out of the box for this 226 9mm pistol. However, if you want to kind of fine tune it for you on the range, you do have a windage and adjustment screw on it, and real easy to tweak that up and kind of dial it into whatever distance you like to shoot. So 226RX, really kind of changes the way we think about shooting a pistol real sick. One other thing I didn't mention, the sights, I did say that they are there and you see that they're a little bit taller so you can actually use your sights through that window which is a nice kind of a backup feature. So 226RX. And this is the Legion 229RX. What makes this 229 Legion special is the addition of the RX. That's this Romeo 1 sight milled right into the top of my slide. Romeo 1, an awesome little optic. Three minute of angle dot. Magnesium construction, nice and lightweight, and it comes with our MOTAC technology. It's our motion activated technology. This sight sits dormant for about two minutes. It shuts itself right off to maintain that battery life. As soon as it senses any vibration or motion, it turns itself back on to your latest brightness setting. So it's always ready to go for your preferred setting. So another great thing you're going to notice right on the top of the slide are these raised X-series sights. Great thing about that is I present out on target. I can co-witness with my red dot, or I can just use these iron sights by themselves. So the next feature on this 229 Legion RX I want to highlight is the trigger. It comes with a gray gun trigger with an SRT, that's short reset trigger. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. So as I come around here, uh, double action pistol, as I pull that to the rear, I get that fire. When it resets, it's almost instantaneous. Very little travel at all to get reset for my next shot. Why is that important? Because there's only really two things I need to be in place in order to take that second shot. And my sight's on target and my trigger to be reset. All right, moving on from the trigger, let's talk about the feel of this gun. As soon as you grip this gun, you're going to notice something's different. And probably what you're going to notice is that we've milled out a little bit higher underneath this for more of that X5 trigger grip. So by being milled out up there, my hand can actually fit a little bit higher. I can get the back of my hand underneath this beaver tail. It gives me a much better natural point of aim. 
Another thing is some ex extra checkering that we have on the front here and underneath there. What that's going to do is really give us more purchase on this for a predictable, repeatable grip for those multiple shot scenarios. We've got our custom G10 grips with that great Legion medallion right in the middle there, and it just feels good to hold. Right around here on this other side, we've got our suite of controls, our mag release, our slide release, and our decocking lever. All of those are nice and subdued. When you get your hand on there, they're not intrusive, very ergonomic to the feel. 229 Legion RX available in three calibers, 9mm, 357 SIG, and 40. The 229 Legion RX is going to come with three magazines, and of course it always comes with this right here. That's that Legion medallion right in the center of those G10 custom grips.